Yeah, this is Super Meat Boy, and we are Instant Replay Live. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. I lost so much respect for you, and I thought I had so yeah, little to boy. begin with. Rescue Especially when you, princess. when you do that <laughs> over me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Even worse. <laughs> so, no, we don't need to watch these. Yet. Just, I, it's, I just, it's always... Uh, no, I know, I know, I know. I'm saying just move on as quickly as you can. It's, it's in yeah. the meat. It's in the meat. Oh, wait, what, what's going on here? Is this just timing? This is just timing. Yeah, it doesn't look that hard. Yeah, the the hard part is the bandage, <laughs> yeah. Well... This isn't hard. Yeah. This is definitely not hard in relation to the rest of the game. I I, I know we just talked about it off camera, but I, I have to say it. It was Dramatic Chipmunk, not Prairie Dog. <laughs> we were just talking about. Yeah. And I know that, but I just I have to say it. I can't live without saying oh, yeah. the correct thing. Blood Mountain is a real place in Georgia. Um, I'm sure. I'm sure it's a, lot, a real place in a number the of The crazy places. thing about Blood Mountain is that um, it was just called Blood Mountain for some other random reason, but um, when I lived in Georgia, uh, there was actually a murder on Blood Mountain. <laughs> oh, like, man. Like, that sounds like a Dungeons & Dragons like adventure model. Murder on mm -hmm. Blood Mountain. I mean, it was a hiker that got like kidnapped by a dude and then like went missing for a couple of days and her body parts were found in the right. woods, but you know. Are you trying to suggest that I shouldn't make jokes about that? Uh, I mean, you have it. Uh, I didn't know the person. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't have a lack of empathy for this person, but... Well, you certainly don't like anymore. It's... What? <laughs> you can't empathize with somebody who's dead. Yes, you can. You can have empathy for someone, is what I said. <sighs> Sympathy, I guess, if you feel like I need to be... Uh, a little more accurate. It's not that I, I, I have a lack of sympathy for that person, but it is someone I don't know, and it is an event in the past. So I'm okay with making a joke about it. Alright, fair enough. Anyways, yeah, Blood Mountain, we're past that now. Side one. Yeah. But we're not past it because oh. uh, it made me think of a very relevant story about Richmond, um, where many murders happen. <laughs> Uh, oh, wow, no. way, to, way to just, like, <laughs> upend my whole, like, yeah, I lived near a murder once. Well, I've lived near, like, dozens, so... Yeah. We really did actually have someone get shot on our corner at our old place, oh, um, and we slept right through it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> we had no idea it happened. It's crazy. It was a uh, drug deal oh, going wait, bad. Oh, I was just watching... Wait. What? What just happened? You're just watching your own... You got a timer. Oh, it's what? going out. Oh, I got... Did I go into the warp zone? What happened? It's going out. Just, just play. Do the thing. That bunny was freaking out. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, well. That's all right. I can get Don't call me a welt. Yeah. Uh, no, but we have a place in Richmond um, called Bloody Run. Oh. Which is super cool. It was a uh, super grisly battlefield, and it's on a hill, so, like, the blood just flowed down the hill is the legend that goes with it, you know? Mm. We have a lot of cool places I need to show you, actually, now that you're living here. Um, there were a lot of uh, local celebrities, too. And this, this is, like, a perfect segue, because I kind of actually wanted to bring these up. Um, but uh, I haven't introduced you to some of Richmond's lore yet. Oh, we yeah. Have, we have some great things. There's, um... This guy named Eric Lannon. Who... Who is well known as, like, a total bro douchebag. And, uh... The internet just loves to, to beat this guy up because he, um... He's like a rich kid who... He self... Self-professed. He gets whatever he wants and no one tells him no kind of thing. So, he's super douchey, like... Sandals, shorts, flip-flops, walking around no matter what time of year it is kind of thing. Um, very bro, you know? And uh, he will just convince people to get entry into their house. Whatever it takes, like, hey, I have a job interview um, in town, but I have nowhere to stay. It's a really big job. Let me crash at your place for a couple of days. I'll pay you as soon as I get the job. Big rent money, you know? Stuff like that. And uh, he convinces these people just to get in their houses, and then he just doesn't leave. What? Yeah. Um, he is a straight-up, like, urban... I mean, and, and so, like, I'm sure half of the stories about Eric Lannon that are on the internet are not true. 
because he has become this sort of urban legend status, but a number of them enough that he admits to himself in interviews are straight up true. Um, he will, once he gets in someone's house, just be like, oh yeah, I called my friend to pick me up, if they're like pushing for him to leave. Yeah. And then he'll be like, oh, my friend just never showed up. Oh my goodness. And stuff like that. He will make whatever excuse. A total sociopath. I mean, yeah, he's crazy. Um, so he's a good one. Did I ever tell you about uh, Mad Dog? No. Is he a character uh, in Fallout? Because he'll take a character uh, in Fallout. <laughs> that's, that's Three Dog. <laughs> oh, no. That's a different character. <laughs> I had it. I just slipped off. Um, <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Mad Dog is a guy who used to live uh, in the same neighborhood as us. Um... He, I will say Mad Dog has passed away at this point, which is sad, because we kind of grew to have a, a mutual respect. But the first time I met Mad Dog, he was in a wheelchair on the side of the, the street, um, maybe begging for cash, I don't know, definitely drinking. Um, and I was walking our dog, and he stands up, he's you know on the other street corner from me, so he's not standing up because of my presence, but he stands up, picks up his wheelchair, and throws it at an oncoming car. Whoa. <laughs> so, I was like, whoa, hey, you, you know, you can't, you're like, I will, I have seen this guy before, he hung out in the corner a lot, um, but I had never met him before. Um, I was like, hey man, you, you can't do that, you can't throw it, the car just kept going. Yeah. Um, and, uh, and I needed to walk past him to take the dog where I was taking him, and he just shouts at me as I'm walking past, You can't tell me what to do! You can't tell me just because you have a dog! I don't care! I don't give an F! I'll piss on his head! <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I was much younger, admittedly, and... A little bit more stupid, a little bit more aggressive than I am today. So I postured back and was gonna get possibly into a fight with this drunk, crazy guy, which would not be the right thing to do. Sure. He clearly needed help, and help was not the thing I was going to be giving him. Luckily, someone else came out of their house and was like, Mad Dog, Mad Dog! And I'm like, What? <laughs> His name is Mad Dog? Um, she's like, Mad Dog, Mad Dog, calm down, calm down, it's okay. And she, like, managed to to soothe him enough that he picked up his wheelchair from the road and sat back down in it. And I just kept moving at that point because she clearly knew him. I didn't need to be involved, you know. But, uh, holy crap. Dude is crazy. Or was, yeah. again. Sadly, he has passed away. I ended up, uh, having a pretty good rapport with that dog over the years, though. And I, um, actually, uh, hired him to, uh, clear the, um, leaves and sticks out of our backyard that had been piled up for, like, years of people who rented the house before us, and the landlord never did anything about. So, our, our yard was, like, a, a jungle at the time of overgrown stuff, and this other guy was like, I wanna, um, I wanna clean it out for you if you pay me this much money, whatever it was, and it was reasonable, so I agreed, and he's like, but I, I need to get all these sticks and stuff, too. Um, do you mind if I bring someone else in and maybe for like another, you know, X amount of money, whatever it was? And I was like, oh yeah, that that sounds great actually. So I didn't personally hire Mad Dog, but mm. <laughs> but all of a sudden Mad Dog is in my backyard picking up sticks <laughs> and stuff. Mad Dog sticks. And uh, we kind of, you know, like I said, we we built a rapport yeah. at that point. Like I would go out and offer him something to drink or whatever, and talk to him for a few minutes, and he took care of my yard. So, and they did it multiple times, like, they would cut the grass and stuff after that. Yeah, that's, that's how it worked out with Mad Dog. Good old Mad Dog. From pissing on my head to hanging out in the backyard. <laughs> and they I would. think that's the title of the episode. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right into that. Oh, right in my boy, mate. Oh, Joe. Joe. Not okay. <laughs> what? I'm Super Meat Boy. Not okay. I'm made of boy meat. You think you're going to beat this anytime soon? I think we're, we're going to have to save the victory of this for the next episode. We, well, we're not over yet, so... Oh, okay. Then, then let's keep on going. Right, maybe more I can get seconds. this guy. Yeah. I can't remember how long this one is, because I've actually done this one before. 
Well, you're not doing it right now. <laughs> no, it's... Oh, oh. <laughs> Why did you double back? Um... What is going on? Alright. Well... Oh, right there. Three more deaths. Starting three with, more deaths? Th starting with this one. You should give me at least... Nope. Two more. Five more deaths. Nope. You get your allotment, and then it's over. It's fortunate that all of these squirrels don't get, like, buzzsawed right to death. Alright, last one. Oh. And that's it. Okay, guys. More meat slaughter next time on Instant Replay Live. Next time.